sure to find Ricardo Yedimana here. I just wanted to um, upload a quick um, audio and just um, tell all of the the people out there, all the whānau out there, about the awesome mahi that the Māori Ranger Security Division does here in Aotearoa, here in New Zealand. Um, a couple of months back, um, uh, I was getting harassed um, by um, Oranga Tamariki. Uh, now, one of their high-ranking agents um, was harassing me, and uh, she came around to my address, my home address, um, un uninvited unannounced just showed up randomly um and asked me if they could set up a meeting um in regards to my children and uh you know i had nothing to hide um so i said yeah no sweet as um so uh anyway a couple of a couple of weeks passed it was about a month past actually and it was a week before the actual meeting was going to happen and then um uh, me personally, Fano, I'm a, I'm a firm and mighty believer in God. I believe that I believe that God created each and every one of us. I believe that there's a, a creator who created us. But um, yeah, now nah, anyway, um, God told me uh, a week before the meeting that um, Oranga Tamariki were gonna uplift my children. And I said to him, well, I said to him, well, what am I, what am I meant to do with that? What am I gonna do? Um, and he said. He said to me straight away, the reason why um, you have been on this hikoi that you have been on um, is exactly for this. Um, because now, now you're going to have to write a letter. Um, and just a little bit about the hikoi I was on whanau, um I, I was already studying into, in, into, into our customary, our sovereign independent customary inherent rights um, as Māori. And I was already um, doing studies within... Um, within the whole system of laws here in New Zealand and, and the way that they have their jurisdiction here in New Zealand and just different um, different articles and the human rights articles and indigenous rights articles and just I was already already into that stuff before this happened so um, anyway I, I started to write a letter and then I, I after I'd written the letter I rang Peter and Monica or well, I rang Peter and I, I, I said, I told him, I just told him, um, told him what was, what was going on. And, and um, yeah, we had a yarn. And then um, Monica ended up emailing me um, a copy of their first notice. Now, this, that first notice is on their website. Um, to everyone out there, it's on their website, the first notice. I was going to download the, the, the first notice myself. I had already downloaded the, the first notice myself, but um, Monica emailed it anyway. So I, I went and brought printed five copies off of it. I uh, went down to the kids' primary school, got the pri uh, primary school principal um, to stamp each and every notice and to sign each and every one of the notices. I then took the notices um, along with my uh, letter stating my case, you know, reasons why um, I won't be coming to their meeting that they wanted to have. Um, and uh, I dropped the notice, first notices off and the letter off to myself, I dropped it off to the Greyland Oranga Tamariki office to the reception and I recorded the whole thing. I'd done the same thing when I dropped it off at the Avondale Police Station, dropped the notices off there as well and re video recorded that. Um, I still have the footage of that, the video footage, um, just for proof. Proof is always good. But um, yeah, anyway, um, I'd done that and um, pretty much... Not, not even pretty much, like straight up ever since I served those notices to them, whānau, never ever heard from them again, I never ever heard anything, I didn't hear a boo, nothing, I never heard nothing from no Oranga Tamariki or peace officer agents ever again, and I still haven't, um, but yeah, like, for all of you out there who are doubting um, the mahi that uh, Peter and Monica do in the Māori Ranger Security Division here in Aotearoa, uh, they do an awesome job. Um, I know that they they do so much mahi all over New Zealand. Um, yeah, Monica's based down in Christchurch. Peter's out in West Auckland here, and over in Henderson. They have their offices there, but yeah, the head office is down Christchurch. But yeah, they do they do awesome mahi all over the country for different ones um, in New Zealand. I know that they've 
um, helped people with court cases, they've gotten people out of prison, I know that they've helped um, heaps of people with all our tamariki situations. Um, yeah, like like they said, the, like some of the things they say, you know, just um, do not, you know, do not consent. You know, we have rights, um, and 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 um, obviously it takes a little bit of mahi farm, uh, farming, a bit of mahi and a bit of soul searching, you know. But um, as they say, knowledge is power, and it's um, um, it's been a very informative. And very re rewarding, um, hikoi. And um, yeah, now nah, they they help people get out of the out of the um, out of the system, the governing system here in New Zealand. Um, I'm proof of one of them. Um, you know, I just got my um, um letter of acknowledgement from uh the Minister of Internal Affairs, um, the Honourable Tracy Martin, um. Yeah, just got my letter of acknowledgement, acknowledge, acknowledging my um, statement of understanding that I'd sent down to them. So, um, yeah, um, just awesome. Big ups, big ups to 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 you, Peter, um, and Monica. Um, yeah, if you fellas, you know, I know they're real busy, and I know he's probably gonna, <laughs> probably Peter's probably gonna hate me for saying this, but man, if you fellas need to know anything. Um, Peter's the man to ask. Like he, he's very, very knowledgeable man, um, and, and he won't put you wrong. You know, he's straightforward. That's what I like about him. He's, you know, just straight to the point. Um, and yeah, now nah, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's got the answers. You know, he's very knowledgeable. But yeah. Um, anyway, thank you, brother, brother Peter and sister Monica for the, for your guys' help. And um, yeah, to all you, all you Fano out there who are doubting. Um, the mahi that they do, no need to doubt it all, Fano. Just like I said, just gotta get get in there, do a little bit of mahi, and you know, um, yeah, you'll be home and hose. Too much. <laughs>